Hi everybody, um, I'm really delighted to be here today and I'm absolutely thrilled that you're all here as well in what essentially is the birthplace of FOMED. And I'm looking forward to a few days of filling our vessels of enthusiasm and inspiration with you and also maybe having a little tipple of the black stuff, it's pretty good around here as well. So I come from a place called Cork, it's about 150 miles uh, south of here and I was, when I was growing up there in the late 70s, uh, early 80s, we had two television channels and life was great. I didn't watch a whole lot, but there was one program that I would always love to see. On a Saturday morning, they'd show a Western and I'd sit there on the couch in green leafy Ireland watching this Western and I was just off in another world completely. And of course, what did I want to be when I grew up? Grew up? Only a cowboy. So I joined the ambulance service <laughs> about 24 years ago. And people would say that maybe I fulfill my dream. They seem far away from each other. But essentially, all of us who work in pre-hospital care, we know what it's like. I think there's many comparisons. I'm sure we've all been out there and felt it's like a day at the OK Corral, you know, down in the dirt, you know, the challenge, backs to the wall, too many casualties to deal with coming at us, you know. They're, pre-hospital care, listening to maybe, I've been there and I've listened to the sirens coming in the direction, the far off, the cavalry are coming, you know, they're coming to, to, to meet us. But there's one element of uh, pre-hospital care that I'd like to uh, talk about today and it's patient handover. And with patient handover, I'm sure you've all seen the good, the bad and the ugly. I certainly have and I've certainly played my part in them. And unfortunately in the past it's been mostly the bad and the ugly but I'm trying to get better at it, I'm trying to improve, and I want to be the good one when it comes to doing patient handover. And the reason that they have been bad and ugly on occasion is because I probably acted like one of my characters from the Westerns, you know, just rode into town, remember this guy in the film, he'd come in, kind of unannounced, arriving in, there'd be people coming out, meeting him, seeing what's happening, didn't know, getting off the horse before he even got to say anything, mixed messages coming in, you know, there are lots going on, nothing happening. And that's the way sometimes I was coming in the ambulance, I was nearly driving in the doors of the emergency department, doors opening before I got there. People coming out, have you seen people coming out of the hospital emergency departments, meeting the ambulance, talking to somebody in the wind, going in, that's not the way we should do it, that's not the way I should have do it. That's bad, that's ugly. But I need to do something else. And who do I need to be like? The preacher man. Because he was cool, he was concise, he was clear in his message. He prepared, he practiced, and he was professional. And what did they do? They listened to the preacher man. Okay? So that's what we need to do. And essentially, the preacher man spoke to two cohorts of people, okay? He had to speak to the non-believers, and his, his, his objective was trying to get the non-believers changed over to believing in what's there. Now, he didn't have Twitter at the time, unfortunately, so he just had to do it by word of mouth and maybe moving to town to town. And he spoke to the believers as well, and it was important for the believers. And when I look out today here, I see believers. But it's important as well that we listen to the message and we get that, get that message over to ourselves and our colleagues. We all need topping up on our inspiration like the preacher man uh, would have done in the past. So that's basically uh, what I have to say about patient handover and just spread the word, get out there, convert the non-believers in twos the believers, and with your handovers, they've been some of my best teachable moments in, in what I've learned during patient handover. So what I would say to you is do a good patient handover, and if there's non-believers, you may convert them, and the believers, they will keep going and stand up, make them listen, and enjoy the rest of your time here in Ireland. Lovely. Thanks, Kieran.